Company in order with a Pledge of Allegiance and a moment of silence. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Citizens to address agenda items, and there are two. Russ for Bannock. Hello, uh, Russ for Bannock, 325 High Street. And I'd like to address item 20 on the agenda conditional use application for hunting Huntley. With the above ground freshwater storage tanks, and I believe it's also for a pipeline to go from one site to the other and pump water back and forth. The, the pumping the water from the uh, Apollo to the Buddha site will reduce truck traffic on Fallen Timber Road during the completion of the wells. Uh, this should be, a, be approved to reduce the traffic, associated noise, and air pollution, and wear and tear on the roads. I think this will be a benefit to all the residents in the area. And to me, it just makes common sense to want better to pump the water and to run trucks back and forth on the road. And I think you should approve that conditional use. Thank you. Thank you. The second one is Carol Daly.
Uh, first, a resolution, the first one, resolution 2019-14. I'd like you to please explain the definition of what and how that parcel will be disposed. And please explain in detail how that parcel and its uh, disposal complies with the comprehensive plan. Resolution 2019-15. I'd like to see that um, uh, changed. Um, Forest Hill Road has been closed off and on for the past four or five years, and the residents have been isolated, and the closings pose a dangerous emergency condition. However, according to all the applications and slide presentations submitted by Invenergy, they've promised to repair Forest Hill Road, and I'd like to know if Nick Cohen has been called and um, asked to repair that road. Motion 20 should be rescinded and replaced by a motion to set aside until all litigation pertaining to the pump house and the ancillary systems is resolved. Reason, at the April 15th conditional use hearing, Blaine Lucas said the purpose for the storage tanks is to, quote, dramatically reduce the need to truck water to the well pads, end quote, by having the water pumped and trans transmitted by, transported by pipelines. Since the pump house cannot supply the water right now, truck traffic will not be reduced. Therefore, there is no need for any storage tanks. Therefore, you cannot vote on this motion until all litigation is settled. Also, you have to explain how at the easement agreement signed on March 4th was not made public complied with the comprehensive plan. I know that it was on the agenda. I know you, you made a motion, but it was never explained and it's not made public. That's all. Thank you. <clears throat> so we're going to our announcements. The annual Halloween parade and trunk or treat will be held Saturday, October 19th at 11 a.m. Uh, trick or treat will be held on Thursday, October 31st from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. throughout Elizabeth Township. We'll now move to resolutions. Motion to adopt resolution 2019 14, affirming that the acquisition and subsequent disposition of numerous parcels of vacant property known as lot and lot numbers uh, 14 or 1413 and 346 will be in accord with the comprehensive plan of the municipality. So I have a motion. So moved. Second. Uh, roll call. Okay, we've got a question on the yeah, question. Yeah. Answer, answer uh, Carol's question on that. And so uh, you just played it really well to me. Can we go ahead and do that? We'll let John do it as his department. Okay. Okay. Mind. What the motion is, is there's an application for the Allegheny County Vacant Property Recovery Program for a gentleman that lives next door to acquire this through their side yard program. And uh, the motion required. Establishing a safe exchange zone. So moved. 
Sanitary bond requisition number 68 and amount of $51,188.50. So moved. Second. Question. Roll call. Commissioner Summerlin? Yes. Yes. 
That's what it is. I'm going to do it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, yes. Well, well. Question here. Number one problem was KOH had one of our engineers who has since then retired. And they came up to my place this day and I was telling him about the water breach the trench that they put in. They said, he said that water could not have breached that trench. I said, You're telling me I don't know what I'm talking about. I've seen a breach in the trench. So he wouldn't listen to me because he knows more than me. That's why I was a supervisor in Eastern Chemical for 35 years. But anyway, I talked to the DEP about that problem there. And the DEP representative told me that the reason why the water breached the trench is because the French drain system wasn't working properly. That's the only reason why he said that water would have breached that trench. Of course, while it's gone now, that the water still breaches the trench every so often up there. That outfit that did that work, I wouldn't hire them if you had a gun to my head. They were terrible, terrible, terrible. Probably still there. Another thing, I asked you guys here about Andrew, about getting that their water problem taken care of from, from Skyview. Well, it's too expensive. I asked Mickey Innsberg, if he would give me a price. Mickey gave the price to him. It was too expensive. So then he tells me then that, uh, go ahead and sue the people. Well, that's a hell of a response, go back and sue them. So what I did was, I got a, a person to give me a price on taking care of the water problem. In the meantime, I called the DEP up and asked them if the problem would work. And they said, yes, it would work. If the print strains are working at all. So I got this person come up there and put two lengths of hose across the hill to the left, one across here with perforated hose, perforated salt and perforated salt. The last two rains I had, I had no water in my freaking yard after all these years. There was two six inch pipes coming out of that hill up there. And this person who did my work tied in these pipes. I went and see Larry Brown, got the permission to tie in the pipes. Tied in the pipe stretch of a hose across the hill to the left. No water, the last two happy rains. First time for years. And I wasn't, I'm not an engineer, but I'm not a dummy either. 
that problem has been resolved. So Bob gave me some bad information because the DEP agreed with what I said. Another thing here, those trees, the Cherokee Red trees, seven of them, and I had the road department come up here and take a look at them. these trees are dying. When they came to my property to plant them trees, first of all, they brought the wrong ones there. They went and brought- I'm gonna have to ask you, I'm well, sorry, wait, 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 you don't get three minutes every time you sign up. You get one three minute period to speak. So if there's something that you want to talk to the commission about, maybe you can talk to them full aside after the meeting. I want Sorry, to talk sir. about this problem here. I was resolved. Yeah. We got shot down last time too. It just ain't going over too good with me. I'll tell you right now. It ain't good with them to do it. And especially when another person is in town. Yeah, I'm sorry, sir. We're trying to keep treat the yeah, right. 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 yep. oh, I think a motion to okay. look into this or do what we need to do to solve the problem. We commissioned KLH to do it. He he has information that was not done right, allegedly has information that's not run, done right, and we need to get it right. It either was not done right or not done right, but if it was not done right, then it ought to be corrected. I'll make that motion. Yeah, we can look into that and make sure, because the council got a, a, a fund to that project. It's not working properly, then we need to find out why it's not working that way. See, we said so someone to do it, they, they should be responsible yeah. too, Chris. You agree? Yes. I'll say I'll, I'll, I'll say. By, by Mr. By Mr. Jones, just state that the reason this water breached that trench, I've been up there twice, I know what it was like, due to the failure of the French drain. The reason the French drain failed was that Mr. Jones insisted on having grass planted over the stone bed. When the water rolls down through there, it can't get into the stone bed because it scoots across the grass and breaches the dam. And he just proved that that's the case because now he has a couple of pipes that are diverting the water the way that French drain would. So again, I've had this discussion with Mr. Jones before. He refuses to have the grass removed from the top of the stone bed, even though it would be a grand total of 18 inches wide. And well, I was told, excuse me, I was told that that grass could be put in there will have no bearing on it whatsoever. Now you're one person, I had an engineer tell me it wouldn't have no effect. So you know what? There's a bunch of BS going around here. Just to investigate. Just to agree to the contract all the money kind of that Yeah. Make sure it's all right. I agree with the whole solution. I think in the contractor did do it, he there, he bonded it, he's bonded, and it would go back on the contractor. So we, we should have, yeah, we should have somebody. We actually have to be someone, we have to be someone to do it. What's the motion? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'll second the motion. <laughs> Good evening, Linda Bennett, Elizabeth Township Historical Society. I am here on behalf of the Historical Society to invite you to the Grino Log Home Days. This is the fourth year that we've done it in the community. We do it in conjunction with the Grino Methodist Church, and it's turned out to be really quite a day uh, that people look forward to coming to. So again, this year we're gonna have revolutionary and civil war reenactors, they'll camp, drill, and do demonstrations during the day. They will be shooting their period appropriate rifles during the day. We are asking for a permit uh, to enable them to demonstrate their rifles. It is black powder. No live rounds will be fired, okay? Uh, we do this at one o'clock, two o'clock, and three o'clock usually. And um, so the log home uh, historical displays will be uh, presented during the course of the day, period of tire, etc. Uh, food, we have approximately 30 vendors this year that will be there to participate in the event. So it's going to be quite uh, a nice day for the community to do this. 
And again, it is our fourth year, so we're looking to uh, make some changes. The GDEF grant that I had written two and a half years ago has come to completion, so that was approximately $88,000. So the porch has been built, the fireplace has been rebuilt inside, and also the entrance to the basement. So we believe that is adding a positive uh, site to see in Elizabeth Township. It's, it's a place to go for the community. And I invite all the people in the audience too to come. You know, you'll really enjoy that day. Thank you. I'll make a, can we make a motion to approve the permit? We, we, yeah. I can put you yeah, I'll make a motion to waive the fee and order on this permit to the historical society for their five pound. Roll call. Yes. Commissioner Walker? Yes. Commissioner Becker? Yes. Commissioner Evans? Yes. Yes. Commissioner Evans? Yes. Frank Savolja? <coughs> Good evening, Frank Savolja, Fourth of the Two Frederick Drive on the Pal, this is pretty much for you uh, question. Have we gone anywhere with the drainage issue on our road? Talk to two members of the road department. Yeah, about this. Uh, they were up there. They they put a temporary curb up there. But my neighbor in front of us, Jerry Lake, he still nothing was done. And I believe the afternoon Jim was up to talk to Jerry the other day, but Jerry's out of town and asked if I could find out a little more. Uh, so, you know. Jerry's the fellow who really do this. Yes, yeah, Jerry, and, and he's looking for a temporary. He's looking up for a build up of the curb there right. also. Uh, yours. It's mainly, uh, you guys would have more better contact with Justin from the water company. At one point he said that they were going to come in and redo the road, and we're lucky enough that we haven't had a lot of rain lately, so we're not with our flooding issues, but we need something done for winter before. So, which tell me Frank is that there has been a temporary, well not temporary, there has been a curb change Top. At the top there, yes, so right that, there. What you can tell us that seemed to be working. We haven't had a lot of hard enough rain for any issues. And to exactly happen. to that, Jerry's fellow who lives down on Green Yes. Uh, closer to my bird and dairy. Right, the one where he was looking to have that curve built up higher also. Correct. You can do that today. Okay. Okay, he left for Erie, I did not see that. But is there any way that we can get in touch with Justin Nash from the water company? Um, uh, I think you've had uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I didn't know if you might answer Joel quicker than he answered me. I'm not so. going to put you on the spot, but you know. Well, he, he pretty much knows everything. It's just, what are you doing? Are you going to do it before? Yeah. The other view on that uh, for the general public was that Pennsylvania American Water came in there and dug up everybody. They dug into everybody's yards of the road to put uh, new water lines. Hired an outside concern to come pay this. That's not directly on the water. Right. But they would have also paid uh, a couple hundred grand probably to have that done. Right. And they didn't do it right, really. Exactly. They pitched it the wrong way and uh, it's created some drainage problems for you and a couple of your neighbors. Mm -hmm. uh, geez, I don't know, Brian, how do we, how do we go about pushing that issue? This is, we're going, this will be what, Shelly? Three years that we've been back and forth with him. Okay. So, back to what you, what would you say? I might be able to help. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, I don't know if anybody's aware, but the American replaced all the water lines on the Vista. And I've been talking to that Justin about once a week. He's just been reporting to what's going on down there. You know, with whatever is shutting down, you know, having board and everything. And he actually mentioned something to me next year. And I, We did them a list of our roads that we're going to pay for next year. They can coordinate so that they've changed the water lines underneath of it, and then they'll pick up half the cost. So you can pay, so you pay twice as many of those as you do. So I would have no issue calling them for you and letting them know, you know, that, yeah, this is the top priority. Right, right. Like but they're going to be missed it. But yeah, he, um, and it was, the problem started was, was with your former road 
supervisor, he was as clear when doing it when found out he granted adjustment on the job that I was doing. He said, Well, why didn't you call me directly? And that's what started it off. So, so now we're getting a little bit better here. Yeah, so don't forget my answer. I've never wanted to say it. Can you just describe it? Maybe? Like, what, what do you want done? There's a curve there now. You said the curve is. Well, there was a small curve. Yeah. Okay, in kind of like that. The way and it's been an issue for 30 years for the cemetery. Coming down the water, when they redid the cemetery spots, they regraded their property, and we've been flooding for 30 years since then. But the way it comes down in an empty lot, in Cow, you had, I should, you saw videos that way, that it was like a steady waterfall coming down. And the way the road is, it used to be graded towards the catch basin. Now, when they regraded it, it's nowhere near the catch basin. It goes the opposite way, and all the water comes into my yard, and that's that's where we're we're running an issue. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Thank you. Okay, cool. Listen. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Tom George or Tom Kevin? George. Tom George. Tom George. Tom George. I am the president of the Township of Seniors, and uh, comes October, the organization is 52 years old. So we like to, uh, I'm asking if you can come up with, you know, graduation or a day or whatever it is. But, uh, they donate to all the power halls, which have food banks, food collections, we do all that for them. And it's all for the Township. Uh, what day is uh, your event <coughs> that takes place? We'll make sure we have someone there. I know you're not over. Fourteenth. Uh, this month? Or next month? Next month off too. What time? Uh we well, we starts at one o'clock. We have lunch at twelve at twelve oh one we we start to meet with the pledge and five less America. And so yeah, we can do an official proclamation and send a detail out. Okay, appreciate it. Thank you. No problem. Okay, last but not least, Emil Burek. I don't know if I'll get a chance to say everything I want to say. Everybody knows that I'm for finishing the sewer system, building a library, and getting the energy in there. But the last couple of weeks, I've been reading the papers and that all these communities around here are building, there's 11 or 12 new community centers over in Jefferson. They're close in there. They build a brand new high school. They have a high school that, that they're moving from. I've been in that high school at meetings. It's in really nice shape. Four or five or six communities want to get together and create a community center over there, including West Elizabeth. We aren't doing, there's nothing being done here to attract people. We're get, the only kind of people we're moving in is community, basically, and this is through the school board, the uh, below, uh, below property income level people are moving in this community. It's turning into a key sport and people don't even realize it. So it's totally false. So it's totally false because in my neighborhood, the people that are moving in are younger people with kids. Am I right? Why is the school population dropping? Marvin, why is the school population dropping? Because you know, they don't have kids. You don't have to fix yourself. You have to have kids to go to school. Everybody knows that the, the families, you know, you don't have 10 or 12 kids in the family. And well, you, know, what do you, say? you always give me everyone right. a negative. No, I didn't know. Oh, no. they're, uh, they're closing, they closed down Century Spring Mall. It was worth two hundred and thirty quarter billion dollars. Then it went down to $38 million. Now it's zero. They're going to tear it down. And that's what's happening over here. This, this community isn't growing. There's nothing here to really attract all kind of people. I'm going to give you an example. The city of Pittsburgh and Allegheny County's population is dropping. The high tech people are not getting jobs here. And it's in the paper, Post Gazette, the trip. You can read it, okay? Well, I'll tell you what, we've had five or six homes exchange owners without even putting them off for sale. I, I, I don't know that. Sale. But that doesn't make this community a better community. <coughs> There's nothing here. The There's you nothing said, here for you said high school people only high school and older. Why don't you do something for everybody? Why do you want to see? 
But anyway, you know, I, I, I called two U.S. senators today, three Pennsylvania representatives. There's a there's a company that one moved in the area eight miles away from Bettis, okay? And they want to put 300 people to work in conjunction with the propulsion systems on nuclear carriers and submarines. I didn't get an answer back for me. I don't even know if these guys people know. I shouldn't be the one telling stuff like that. But if it isn't their idea, they don't want to know about it. And that's the kind of stuff that's happening in all these communities like this that are dying. You go through the key sport, it, you know, this is what this community is going to end up being like in 10 years, whether you want to believe it or not. The, the population in this whole area is going down. I don't care how many houses are sold. There's nothing here in this community that this community is doing to attract people and keep them here. Well, and wait, wait, wait a minute. Drive, so wait. we have something for, to bring young people here. No, I, 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 I was for you. I was with them. I was on there with you. But anyway, it, you know, in this community, there's, there's absolutely nothing. All right, and we're going to eight, 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 wait, one more time. Eight, 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 eight to nine percent of the people graduate from this community leave. That's my answer. Okay, anything else when we go to the township? Nothing to adjourn. Second, I'm going to adjourn. Second, I'm going to adjourn.